Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 19th of November 2022. Of course, it's not Saturday. It's Friday, mainly because tomorrow, MB12 2022, back to Monmouth. So tomorrow is going to be, well, it's an overnight mini Beano and I will be testing the difference between a Spoons Full English and a Premier in Full English. Price, quality and quantity. Those are my watchwords. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, this is me recapping the past week, the things that happened to me. Um, the good, the bad, the political, the tech, the beer, and there was some free beer, and various other things, including Twiglets. Anyway, um, if you have any comments, don't be afraid to get in touch. This will be on um, WordPress and Twitter, if Twitter is still there, and Facebook, MeWe, and various other places. Comments are welcome. Be polite, please, you know. Anyway, looking back over the last week. And yeah, I'm using detail. I'm using the detail camera. There is cinegraphic, uh, cinematic blur, uh, and it's 1080p. I did try 4K, but 4K, uh, couldn't get cinematic blur with that. Anyway, the word or phrase of the week. Autumn statement. Another autumn statement. Um, and I'm not surprised. Um, bounce back loans, furlough, uh, shutting down the country, uh, PPE, uh, practically everything. That was all borrowed. At some time, we were going to have to pay it back. And boy, are we in a mess at the moment. But, you know, things um, and fuel. So there was one of those this week and the ructions from that will probably go on and on. And I don't want to use the phrase kick the can down the road, but I probably did actually. Uh, there you go. Anyway, the app of the week. It's the Chase app. I have the iOS version. Um, it's like a bank account. Um, but you don't have to change your bank account to it. Um, you get a virtual debit card. Actually, you get a real debit card as well. And you get a um, savings account. I think it's 2.1% per month. He said sniffing. Um, it's really good. And you can transfer in and out. And you get 1% cash back for the first year on your purchases. I like that. And I use it. Um, it's good. So if you're thinking, how can I get a little bit of extra money for Christmas and such like, maybe worth a thought. Um, I'm not giving out financial advice. It works for me. It may not work for you. Okay, the thing of the week. The thing of the week is things breaking. Okay, um, you're going along in life and life is looking okay and things are going well and all of a sudden bang, something breaks, either catastrophically or just a little bit. And how do I replace it? And do I get a new one? And do I get a better one? Mine wasn't particularly that bad. I have a screen mount stuck to the inside of my windscreen, um, on which holds my iPhone, which runs Waze, which I use to go back and forth to work. Not because I don't know the way by now, but problems and jams and various other things and it was fine and then i went to put the phone in it on monday night and crack the arms just which hold the phone just broke okay tldr um too long didn't read um i bought a new one ah, it is actually better in some ways not quite as good in other ways but isn't that just like life? You have things, they work well. Sorry, sniffy nose. Um, and when you're doing this, your nose itches as well. I think it's psychosomatic, but what can you do? Um, so yeah, it's there, it's better, it bounces less. Will it last as long? Because the last one, although it was cobbled together from various different parts of ones that I had before, must have lasted about three, four years, which is 
pretty good for something plastic and something that's stuck on the front of the windscreen inside of course but yeah in life things go wrong and stuff mm. the rona thing of the week and tonight i came home and i had an appointment to have a fourth booster uh, next friday unfortunately next friday i'm going to be away um, i decided not to have it anyway uh, i know quite a lot of people who have had it and i think the risks from the um, the boosters are uh, probably slightly significantly higher than the roof risks from the rona now it's got far more well it's more it spreads a lot faster and quicker but it's less damaging i might be right i might be wrong but i'm making the decision about myself and since the boosters don't stop you getting it or spreading it uh, they just narrow down the effectiveness of it um, i'm gonna go with that <laughs> I'm not an anti-vaxxer. Uh, I believe in having vaccinations for all things, but um, there's always a trade-off, and I'm making my decision on that. Anyway, back to last week. Went to Caerphilly. Um, at the side of Boots, there's an outdoor automatic laundrette. I just couldn't believe it. There actually is. And it has, like, two washing machines and one dryer, and uh, I just can't see people taking this stuff there and hanging around while it does it and outside and yeah ah. anyway um then spoons and then a brew monster where they were taking publicity stills for their beers and one of them was a stout and the lady who was taking the pictures didn't like stout and free as in beer it might have only been a half but it was a very nice half, and I say thank you very much. Uh, Sunday, Sunday got up to, was it 17 or 18? It was like spring. It was sunny. The stuff on the line just dried immensely. Uh, it was good. And then for most of this week, up until about Wednesday, rain. Thursday and Friday, it's much colder. Not frosty pretty close and tomorrow morning i think the wind will stop the frost but mm, uh, i think we've lost the mild spell of the late autumn i could of course be wrong but who knows um yeah and also on sunday an article about avian flu which we have uh, but apparently in wales we let um the avian flu people uh, chickens and turkeys are not outside and in england you keep them in to stop it spreading which is a bit of a reverse on what we do with humans anyway there's a shortage of eggs there's probably going to be a shortage of turkeys as well especially the fresh ones and spoons amongst other places um may be running out so they are offering extra sausages extra hash browns and maybe extra onion rings I had that clarified in the tumble. Um, you only get an onion ring if they're cooking onion rings anyway, which means they're only going to come with the all-day brunch, which is after 11.30. Uh, you won't get onion rings with your full English. Although, I wouldn't mind trying that. That seems like a pretty good deal, to be perfectly honest. But no. And then, in the tumble on Monday, when I was finding all that out, tinsel. And decorations slightly muted this year but you know times are hard and all that sort of thing and then to put that downer on christmas the factory that makes twiglets is on indefinite strike i need to buy twiglets i really do christmas is twiglet time but what can you do um right um wednesday was well inbox everything was black friday completely black friday and you know things um things like fosters going down to 3.7 percent alcohol by volume probably something to do with cost of uh, ingredients and duty on the alcoholic strength soon it'll be a non-alcoholic lager and i know what most people will say about it in this country um it's made by heineken by the way um thursday my new screen mount arrived which was good and i wasn't sure about putting it on but as you already know i did put it on um and it works well 
Oh yeah, Thursday. Christmas ales. They're on the back of the piece of paper that you put on the tables in spoons, which tell you about their Christmas meals, which menu was announced on Wednesday. Uh, still no roast potatoes, which is a shame. And I was asked about that today. Well, because I'm the mayor, swarm up, um, and I need to get hold of some squeezy mint sauce because they no longer do mint sauce. I remember one Christmas having the full Christmas lunch in there and having 11 sachets of mint sauce. That is the true spirit of Christmas, if somewhat excessive, to be perfectly honest. But what can you do? Oh yeah, £2.10 a pint on the back of the um, those pieces of paper. All the Christmas beers, all the double entendres, the silly names, the dark and spicy, etc. Uh, I asked behind the bar, they didn't know where they're coming. A friend down in Weymouth, they already have them on. But it's £2, I think it's £2.55 or maybe £2.59. Ponty has its advantages, to be perfectly honest. Also on Thursday, homegrown radish, which I'm still growing, and a little bit of homegrown cucumber. I think it's the only one that made it through this year, and it was a bit small, but it was lovely. Yeah, homegrown stuff. Still got homegrown potatoes, by the way, making wonderful chips. And yeah, it is colder now, and um, whatever. Um, Thursday was the autumn statement. And um, Friday, well, I managed to get two of the things that I wanted for Christmas for me in the Black Friday sale, which isn't even Black Friday. And we don't seem to have Christmas anymore. We seem to have a permanent sale from now a week before Black Friday, which is an American import, to Boxing Day at least. It has been a funny old week. It will be a good weekend. I am hoping. Ah. Anyway, um, the usual comments, send them to me, don't send them to me, wave, um, wrap up warm, um, put a thicker socks on because gas and electric are far more expensive. Twelve and a half minutes. Bye-bye. Mm,